Nikki Hirsch from the blog NikkiHirsch.com. Welcome to my video channel. In this video I show you how to work the Tunisian Crochet Basket Weave Mesh Stitch. You need the stitch to work the Tunisian Crochet Market Bag Pattern, a free pattern, and you'll find the link to the pattern in the link below this video. Have fun! The story behind the stitch is that I was looking for a Tunisian Crochet Market Bag. But I couldn't find an equivalent to the standard crochet mesh stitch in Tunisian. And that's why I came up with my own one. If it hasn't been already invented long ago, of course. If you are interested in my free Tunisian market bag pattern, just check the link in the video description below this clip. However, as you can see in the sample, the mesh stitch is very light and airy and it has an awesome drape, which makes it a perfect summer stitch. Not only for bags, but also for beautiful scarves and shorts or a shirt. In this video, you'll learn how to work the Tunisian crochet foundation row and how to work a Tunisian crochet return pass. You'll also learn how to create intentional spaces between the stitches and how to work a Tunisian double crochet. Last but not least, I show you how to finish off the mesh stitch. I work with a DK lightweight Erin cotton yarn here from We Are Knitters because they have so beautiful colors. And I work with a 5.5 mm Tunisian crochet hook. In US terms, it's uh, I9. Whether you choose a rigid Tunisian crochet hook or a cabled one like me depends on your personal preferences and on the project you want to crochet. However, you may have heard that you always need to go up one or more hook sizes when you cr Tunisian crochet. Um, with this pattern I don't do that and I went for a smaller hook because I want the mesh to be perfectly neat and durable. So let's get started. Chain a multiple of 3 plus 1. I already prepared my sample chain with 16 chains. Tunisian crochet is a two-step process. We work a forward pass and put up loops on the hook and then we work a return pass where we work all these loops off. So now we start with the forward pass of the foundation row and we do this by pulling up loops from our chain. And I um, prefer to pull up my loops from the back bump here because it gives, gives a, a more beautiful edge. So you insert your hook in the second chain from hook and pull up a loop. And you do that for every other chain of your starting chain. You now should have the same number of loops on your hook as you had chained before. 16 loops in my case. Don't turn your work now. You almost never do with Tunisian crochet. There are special Tunisian stitches where you have to turn your work now, but this is a totally different story. So to work the return pass we start with the chain 1. Now we've worked the first loop here off. And then we yarn over and pull through the next two loops on the hook. And we do so until we have only one loop left on the hook. Great, we've made the foundation chain. Now we continue with the actual mesh pattern. The pattern will be worked with Tunisian double crochet and yarn over. With most Tunisian crochet stitches you don't need to work extra chains for the heat at the beginning of a, of a row. But as we work with double crochet here we start by chain 2. To 
To achieve the mesh effect, we want to create spaces between our stitches, so we skip the next two stitches. And to equal the number of stitches, yarn over twice. Now we work the first Tunisian double crochet. Yarn over once more and insert your hook from front to back and from right to left in the next stitch. Pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two. Skip the next two stitches, yarn over twice. Yarn over a third time for the Tunisian double crochet and insert your hook in the next stitch from front to back. Pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two again. And we do this until the end of the row. To work the return pass, chain 1 and work the return pass just as you would usually do. Treat every yarn over like a normal stitch. Yarn over, pull through two, all the way back until you only have one loop left on your hook. Great! Now we come to the pattern repeat. The mesh pattern has a repeat of two rows. Chain 2, yarn over 3 times again. We don't work a normal Tunisian double crochet now, but from now on all our Tunisian double crochets are front or back post stitches, just like you know from standard crochet. So to work a Tunisian front post double crochet, we insert our hook from front to back and back to front around the post of the next stitch and pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through 2. Yarn over three times again and insert your hook now for the back post stitch from back to front and back again. Pull up your loop, yarn over, pull through two. Again, front post stitch like this, and pull up a loop, and the back post double crochet. So, and you do this and repeat this until the end of your row and don't forget to always have these additional yarn overs between the stitches. And the last Tunisian double crochet of the row, you work just as like a normal Tunisian double crochet. You insert your hook from front to back and the vertical bars, pull up a loop and uh, yarn over, pull through two, and then you work your return pass again, which is always the same here. We continue the next row and the second row of our pattern repeat in the same manner, just that we start with a back post double crochet where we worked the front post double crochet before and then alternate the front and back post stitches. Yarn over three times. Here you can see that we worked the front post stitch at the beginning, so we start with the back post stitch now. And when we work the back post stitch here, we have to work a front post stitch. So that's easy to remember, right? And you go on like this until the end of the row. And repeat the two rows that I showed you until you reach the desired length of your sample. You've worked a few rows of the mesh stitch now and you should have just finished your last return pass with one loop on your hook. I guess most of you already know that in Tunisian crochet you need to work a finishing row at the end to make the edge look good and perfect. And you do this by working slip stitches. 
and that's exactly what we're going to do now. We insert our hook under the chain of the return pass and work a slip stitch. And we do so again because we have to work here uh, as many slip stitches as we work stitches aka yarn overs. Okay, the second slip stitch is always a bit tricky here. Alright, then we come to the Tunisian double crochet and we work a normal slip stitch here. Insert our hook from right to left and then work the slip stitch. So again, slip stitch in the space between the stitches is um, like this. We do twice of them. And another slip stitch here in the Tunisian double crochet. Tunisian slip stitch around the chain of the return pass. And another one. And a slip stitch in the Tunisian double crochet. Repeat this until the end of the row and then finish off. Now that you've learned the Tunisian crochet message, click the link in the description below this video and make yourself a beautiful Tunisian crochet market bag.